in this video I'm just gonna keep doing examples if you know what you're doing you can probably skip this one and move on to the next one in the next one I'm gonna show you how to do two-step problems but if you want to see me do more examples here we go number four convert 82 miles to feet now this is probably one that you don't know maybe some of you remember it from when you were little but if you look up here here is a conversion factor for feet to miles. So I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to write what they give me. I'm going to abbreviate miles as MI. So that's what they give me. And I'm trying to go from miles to feet. So I know in one mile there's 5,280 feet. So I have to figure out what to put where. So your diagonals are always going to match. So diagonal, I need one mile. And that means the 5,280 feet go on top. I'm going to calculate that. So we're going to do 82 times 5,280 divided by 1. So we're going to have 432,960 feet. We're going to do gallons to barrels. Now some of you may never have even heard of a barrel before. Um, you can buy root beer by the barrel. It's kind of like a little keg. So I'm going to write down what they give me. Four gallons. And then I'm going to see if I can find a conversion factor for gallons to barrels. And here we go right here. There are 73 gallons in two barrels. And you might be thinking this is weird because it's not a 1, but they do that just so you don't have a decimal, which is kind of nice. So remember, opposite of gallons, I have to have gallons. So 73 gallons is going to go on the bottom. Our diagonals always match. Whatever that's equal to goes on the top. So 2 barrels goes on top. So to do the math, we're going to do 4 times 2. And without clearing, we're going to go divide it by 73. So we have about 0.1 barrels. You guys can round to the easiest thing to round by on this guy, okay? Number six, convert 45 quarts to gallons. So I'm going to write down what they give me. Now, quarts to gallons. You may know this conversion, you may not. So let's look. We have um, there are four quarts and one gallon. So, diagonals have to match. So I, my four quarts goes here. My one gallon goes up here. So how we do this? We do 45 times one divided by four. That's 11.25. If you wanted it around to 11, I'd be okay with that. So days to years, 746 days, how many years is that? Well, I know in one year, there's 365 days. So the days have to match, so diagonal, I have to put my days, 365 days in one year. So we're going to do 746 divided by 365. So it's just about two years. 